Alright man, this is your boy Chef Boudreaux, man. Today, I'm going to be making for you guys a blackened chicken breast with dill red potatoes and hoco verde. Translation green beans, alright? So now we're going to have a little onion that's going to go in there. I'm going to render it down with a little flat fat. Sorry. And we're going to blanch it in this water right here, some salt water, so we can keep the green color on the green beans. Sometimes we, we cook green beans and stuff like that. That's fresh green beans and broccoli or whatever like that, and it tends to turn brown. So we're going to blanch it so it keeps that green color, and then we're going to put them all, put all the flavors together and get that together. So now uh, this right here is my blackening seasoning for the chicken. My blackening seasoning, this is Boudreaux's blackening seasoning. It consists of salt and pepper. Onion powder, garlic powder, pep, uh, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, um, a little uh, thyme leaves, and then we have some, uh, as in my boy Rick said this morning, uh, some oregano. That's oregano. All right. Boom. So we're going we gonna to start by splitting these breasts. We're going to beat them down with this hammer a little bit, pat them out. And then we're going to pan sear them right in this black skillet right here. So I'm going to put a glove on. It's also for heat purposes too. And uh, don't worry. I wash my hands. Alright. So we're going to put this glove on. And then we're going to get started. First, what we're going to do is we're going to split this breast open. Alright. We're going to break, bring it to the edge. And we're going to slice this breast open. Alright. We need to slice it all the way through. Alright. That's one, and we're going to slice this other one. Got two sliced breasts. So now we're gonna take this, take a little bit of this wrap over here. I'm gonna touch it. So just gonna slide a little bit of this paper over the top. Uh, this clear wrap over the top. Chicken, and then we're gonna beat it up. All right, that's my oven getting ready. Make sure this is covered all the way. That's Take a little bit. We're gonna season this generously over the top. Alright. Season high. Pat that in. Never rub, pat. And flip it over. Ready to go. We're going to set this seasoning off to the 
took the liberty of cutting up some of these red onions, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to cut them yourself. So you just split, split it down like this, hit it one more time, quarter it, and just hit it like that. There we go. So I got the pots getting hot. Let me wash my hands real quick. Alright, take and add some butter. Let's be blackening, y'all. Take and add some butter to this black cast iron skillet. We're going to get this cracking. Make a lot of the You don't want to overpower the pan with chicken because it will cool the pan down and you ain't gonna get the sear that you want on it. Alright? Crank this up just a little bit more. Come on with this chicken. While we're doing that, I'm going to go and get these steel potatoes started. Add a little bit of this. We're going to do the whole cover of the Just a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Potatoes in there like that. Let me get my trusty spatula. I need to use a little more for this. I'm going to try to cook these potatoes without breaking them, okay? I'm going to cook them down right here in this pot. See how we doing on this chicken. Oh yeah, it's coming along, baby. Coming along. See that? That's what you're looking for, right there. And once we sear them, we're going to put them over to the side and set them in the oven. It's already warming. Alright. Oh yeah. Nice cast iron skillet. Amazing. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little salt and pepper to the potatoes. That's all you need. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of this pepper. Right there, we're going to flip this chicken over. Yeah, nice and still on that chicken. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. Come oh, on, man. Tyler, where you see the steel on that chicken? Let this cook down a little bit. We're going to cook them until the potatoes start to get soft, right? Let me look ahead and see if I'm not hot. Yep. And we're going to let this, oh, that ain't it. You know I'm making a 
kind of let these finish in the oven even though it's almost cooked. I know a lot of people don't think that it cooks that fast. But it really does. We're going to add this last piece up in here. A little bit more butter. And there we go. There we go. It's gonna pop, so just make sure you clean the rind and skill it as you go. fresh deal but if you don't it's always okay to use dry you can always use the dry meal it ain't gonna hurt now we're gonna take this a little bit of water just to help clean the potato we're going to drop this down about a low heat and cover. We're going to add the veal on the, on the, on the, when we're almost done. Alright. Chicken is almost done. We're going to put that in the oven. And let that sit. Got the oven at about 170 degrees. We got this pot getting hot. These hook over there. We're going straight in the salty water. I don't know if I salted it. I think I did, but I'm just going to put just a little more just so I can show y'all that's what goes in there. Okay? So, uh, what we're going to do is I got some bacon fat right here that's really going to set these green beans off. I, 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 have, I have fried my, my grandkids some bacon this morning. So, I'm going to use this fat to bring out this flavor in this green bean. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little onion to it. I'm gonna saute these onions. I'm going to put the onions in there. Alright. I'm gonna sweat these onions a little bit. And then we're gonna go straight from this water into this pot. Got a meat and dice on that onion. For those bastards. I'm going to get my string now because I'm going to need it. What we're going to do is we're going to let these cook for a little, maybe about one or two minutes, right? 
in the meantime, we'll check on these potatoes. I know they're done. So we're gonna let this ball for a little minute. Alright. Matter of fact, while we're doing that, see how they keeping the green color on those green beans? Pepper these. All right. Some salt. Himalayan, don't work. Still got that color on them green beans, man. Come on with me. Huh? Huh? Guess what time it is, people? Get all this stuff out of my way. It's time to plate up, but you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna really wake up these green beans. I'm gonna hit them with a little zest from this lemon. A little bit of that. Gonna wake up that flavor on them green beans. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice up in here. It's really gonna wake it up right here, boy. Squeeze a little bit. And that lemon on that boy. Now it's time to play it. Shut this out. Just to the side. I'm gonna trust the tone back. Alright, we're gonna get this to stir real quick. Well, that lemon just sure set that on. Alright, it's time to plate. Alright, it's time to plate up, man. We take this chicken breast right here. I like this one. Trust the knife. All right. We're going to hit these potatoes up. Take that just like that. Alright. 
I can come with these green beans. Hit him with the hunt. Alright. There you go. Let me wipe my bowl up. A little messy. But there you have it, folks. Black and chicken breast. Dill red potatoes. And hoko bear. Blanched green beans. This is what I want y'all to do for me, man. Do your boy a favor. Follow your boy on Facebook, Boudreaux's Catering, Instagram, Chef underscore Boudreaux1.